What is up YouTube? This is Anonymous Nobody back again with another video. Today this is going to be Valentine Day Part 2. We have a guest appearance today. Everyone meet my man Mr. Beaker. Beaker say what's up. Hello all. How goes? Happy Valentine's Day I guess. Is that allowed on this channel? It's allowed but we all know it's Valentine's Day. Wow. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to make this part two to what I posted yesterday. Uh, just going a little more in depth on historical facts and the actual definition of love from a chemistry point of view. Beaker? Well, okay. Love. Um, we had this conversation over lunch at one point in time and he's like, you know what, we should, we should do a thing. So here we're doing the thing. We all know that way back when and the Greeks used to have three forms of, of love um, you'd have eros which is the erotic kind the lust kind you'd have philio which is the brotherly love type stuff and then you have agape which is the godly love complete love pure love so as we look at this whole concept of Valentine's Day and as you're trying to define what is love for lack of a better phrase well what really is it and we just got to talking about, uh, from my point of view, um, love not, can't necessarily be quantified. This is, at least in my personal opinion, and just what I've observed. Um, but if you try to quantify it, uh, there's all sorts of equations you can throw at this. Something called the Hardy, Hardy Weinberg uh, extension. That's like a genetic uh, way of expressing how evolution works. But if you look at uh, how evolution works, uh, let's see, get my thoughts together here. Well, let's do it as this. Why do, why do we as humans love our children? One would say is because we, wanna exp we want our genes to, to can carry on. We want them to can, you know, be successful and we want our genes passed down, our legacy, if you will. Well, then you have some folks that don't, want, don't necessarily want that. Um, why do we love our children? In some animal kingdoms, some parents eat their <clears throat> they eat their young. We humans don't do that. We're capable of a of a certain level of higher thinking, uh, emotion. Uh, emotion can act can make you act in very very powerful different ways: fear, love, hatred, all that. All those things are um, things that tend to override. Uh, logic at times what's the logic that will thing to do is love a logical thing is anger a logical thing so what is what is love what is emotion all these things can't necessarily be quantified uh, we have chemicals that make us up as human beings chemicals that are responsible for um, proteins being made amino acids forming and all that fun stuff but whenever uh, all these things come together and form a human being well, we're all made up of the same stuff. How come me, Beaker, how come I'm not the same as Mr. Anonymous? What, since we're made out of the same thing, we should be exactly the same, but we're not. Our DNA may not be uh, arranged in the same way, but our consciousness, our personalities, our capable of, or our abilities to love, those are different. Um, those, th those are things that aren't necessarily quantifiable. So there's those things that, um, as DNA makes proteins and stuff like that, what about the stuff that the DNA doesn't necessarily code for? There's the junk DNA, as they say it. Um, the things that's kind of left in the background. Or is it truly in the background? Because within those things that we don't necessarily know what that stuff codes for, could it be our consciousness? Could it be the love part of humanity and let's not even just lock it down to humanity I mean horses have been shown to certain levels of intelligence along with um, certain species of octopus that's a whole different thing um, where was I going love can we quantify it yes and no it all depends on what are your own parameters is love just a, a feeling of I don't know I really don't know, but from what I see, 
uh, I believe love is something that we, that is not tangible and it's not calculable. Uh, it's not you can't calculate it because uh, if we're all made of the same thing, then we all should behave the same way. So I believe that love is definitely an X factor in the equation. And when you speak of this X factor, uh, something I thought of that I've mentioned at several points about conditional love versus unconditional love, how you can have unconditional love for your children and conditional love for, say, another human. Could you elaborate some on the unconditional versus conditional love within humans? Unconditional love. That would be the ungod- that would be the agape version of, of what the Greeks had. Unconditional love to me, I see, is the pure love. As no matter what person's there. I'm thinking of a dog right now, man's best friend. I'm really <laughs> I mean to be all love with dogs. dogs. But puppies particularly. Unconditional love. That's a that's that's a hard the only way I can relate that is either, you know, being a, a parent. And I'll ask for the uh, the conditional love. If then that, if you do this, then I will reward you with that. Is that what we're getting at? So to speak, do you feel that that unconditional type of love exists more in men or in women? Well, we don't even need to necessarily block it off to gender, really. Physically, our, both of our minds, men and women's brains, are wired very, very differently. I don't think necessarily if you were to block it to gender it would be a, a good um, controlled system. A good system. It's not even controlled. A good system. Because, um, granted, men have a way of thinking and so do women. But when... Man, that's, this is a tough one to address. Left hook me with that one. <laughs> yeah. In, in, in terms of the general population, this has been the adage for, for quite some time. I don't believe there's no, there's, a, there's, I don't think there's anything uh, known as unconditional love within the human, with the human race, within the human species, however you want to put it, because we all have our points. We all have our points where this is where I draw the line in the sand. May it be uh, tough love, if you will put it that way, or drawing the line of, man, I really love this individual, but I, I can't let them be a part of me because they're becoming toxic, and you have to let go. The, and, and that comes down to a little, you know, it's, well, it comes down to self-preservation. So, unconditional love. I think the only thing, uh, only, and this is at least my own personal beliefs, is that is that of, of, a, of a greater being than us is only able of unconditional love. Because that's the perfect love if we're thinking of agape. Mm-hmm. And as I think, if we're in this realm of conditional or whatever, there's a movie called The Kite Runner, and there's this concept of uh, these two friends, these two boys, and they're they're good friends, and they're in a third world country, I believe. And uh, one of them has said, "I would eat dirt for you," and the other one replies, I'm, "I'm getting the quote wrong, but the concept is I would eat dirt for you." And the other one replies, "Yes, I know you would, but I would never ask you to do that." That is one of the most prime examples of. Of caring for another individual, these are, and I think I find that to be amazing. Uh, you know, um, person loves a person, you do anything, but the other person won't ask them to do anything. That's that mutual respect, respect slash love. This, there you go. There's another tangent we could go off of. Yes, that is another tangent. Uh, this has been uh, pretty informative. That was a lot for the uh, audience to chew on. Uh, thank you for stopping by and blessing us with that information, Beaker. Um, hopefully we'll be hearing from you again soon in the future. The honor was mine, good sir. Thank you for your time. And there you have it, folks. This has been part two of Valentine's Day. Breaking down love, what is it, from a chemical aspect and a historical point of view. This is your boy, Anonymous Nobody. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back at you guys soon. And I'm out. Peace. Peace.